Hey everyone, it is Wednesday night and you know what that means. Yep, we're having a weird thrifty business. Not a weird one, but <laughs> not as normal day. So thank you all for finding us on Wednesday. I'm your one host, Jason Thrifts. And with me from the, the big old state of Texas is Matt from Peach Treasures. What's happening, Matt? How are you? Oh, you know, just hanging out with all the cool kids on a Wednesday night. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll we'll talk about in a little bit. We'll talk about why we're doing it on Wednesday. But hey, let's get right into the show. <laughs> now it's time for Jay's Tiki Talk. Each week, I drink a different rum out of a different tiki mug and try and match it up to my guest. And Jess is back with us as a guest. How are you, Jess? I'm good. How are you? I am good. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on tonight. So tonight, Jess is talking about. Macari Local. We're going to talk a little bit about Macari for those who haven't yet taken the plunge, but for those the rest of us who have, why use local? And it's pretty uh, unique because when it first happened, I didn't read it. So I just, you know, don't ever do this. I just assumed how it worked. And then <laughs> someone told me, no, 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 you have it wrong, sir. And I'm like, oh, I do. Whoops. So we're going to talk about that tonight. Now, Jess is up in the Bay Area. So I grabbed a uh, tiki mug from Smuggler's Cove, nice. which is in San Francisco. And since we're talking about Macari local, I'm drinking a local Vegas rum. See what you did there. Yeah, you like that? See, <laughs> I, 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 just, I didn't stretch it too far this week, but I thought, yeah. you know, we're doing, we're talking local. We'll drink a local rum. What, uh, what are you drinking tonight, Jess? Water. Water. What, what about you, Matt? I'm actually drinking sparkling water, but <laughs> I've got Ooh. the... Uh, Trader Vic's Ramu mug. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a little booty, which, you know, come on. <laughs> Are you drinking out of a fun, festive cup at least, Jess, or is it just a bottle? <laughs> Ball jar. Oh, mason jar. All right, I like it. You know, hey, look, I'm a country boy. That's a uh, mason jars always work. All right, sit back, relax, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. And we're also going to have a little bonus story from someone else who's used Macari Local to great success. So yay for new things. Thanks, Jess. Sure. All right, let's get right into it, shall we? And now it's time for our scores of the week. These are the items that you should be on the lookout for when you're out thrifting. All right, so I got one question. <laughs> this is how we start the I, show. I notice you you model in all the other clothes that you guys sell. <laughs> Why aren't you modeling these? <laughs> you know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't try them on, but... <laughs> Oh, damn it. I still want a picture of you in these. These are awesome. I mean, <laughs> aren't they cool? They're so fun. But literally, they're, the crotch is like that long. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not mail safe. <laughs> <laughs> these are some vintage Coca-Cola shorts that we sold on Depop just the other day for 18 bucks. Uh, these like retro vintage ad um, in clothing right now, very 90s and it's blowing up. So... Yeah, they are booty shorts, and uh, they are awesome. And good good job selling on Depop. Thank you. Aaron insisted that we put this one up here just because of its name. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got a CD like that tonight, so I understand. Yeah. <laughs> nice. This is actually, what's crazy about this guy is this is like the crane game kind of quality, just that, that uh, kind of cheaper fabric. But he's a rare character from a really popular show, Rick and Morty, and his name is Mr. Poopy Butthole. And he sold yeah. for twenty bucks and plus shipping. So, yeah, I uh, I'm with Aaron. I understand wanting to push things up that you're like ah, just for the fun. Yeah, he's like, do it, do it. And then of course we've got a candlestick to follow that. It's not that exciting, but uh, these Metallica candlesticks are very good sellers. They're a bolo for sure. We've run into them a couple times. Sold it for nineteen eighty plus shipping. Nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> these guys are amazing. Um, this was just kind of tucked away in the plush aisle. Um, but these are vintage 84 Hallmark crazy crop collection. Um, I believe they have they have a fruit collection as well. Um, but these guys, we put them up and within 48 hours, they sold immediately for 40 bucks. Did you read your mother-in-law's comment? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'll, <send you, laughs> I'll send you a text, mom. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to send you a picture in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you know, I could have used this for my wear in the world because, as you see, it was bought in Australian dollars, but yeah. uh, it was something I picked up at, I think, a Savers or Goodwill for, like, four ninety nine. So, although it is not my wear in the world segment, as you can see, people all over the world need all the cool things that we have, including 
latch hook kits. Heck yeah. Heck I mean, yeah don't, is right. They don't have a lot of ski mountains in Australia. They wanted to see it. <laughs> All right. So uh, again, Australia, look how hot Australia is this week. Crazy. <laughs> So I found this in a record store, and apparently the record store never opened the cover because I would think most people know who Henry Rollins is. Yeah. He was the lead singer of Black Flag. He was the lead singer of the Rollins Band. He's a part-time actor. He's a full-time uh, spoken word dude. And if they would have opened the first page, there's his autograph. And they sold it for $11. Wow. I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I kind of had to rub my eyes and go, is this really only 11 bucks? <laughs> and you could only buy this book on his website. That was the only place that you could. There wasn't even a, a landing page on Amazon. That's the only place you could buy it. There's no ISBN. Crazy. Wow. Uh, so that, that AU100 is about 80 bucks and uh, plus shipping to Australia. Heck yeah. All right. We've talked about Together and uh, Bonanza. If you're not <laughs> using them, they just piggyback your eBay listings. There's nothing really for you to do once you set it up. So sometimes something from your eBay store sells on Together. They have a little bit less fees too. So this tiki mug that was on eBay sold on together for $112 plus shipping. So I was very excited because less fees. Less fees by about half because there's not much work they do. Oh, cool. Right. And Ooh. I probably took a little less than I should have, but I had a hap I had a, a interested customer and I sold this at 200 bucks. Okay. They had the original tag of $7.95. They never sell close to that. Um, but I, I found it for six dollars, <laughs> and I was like, eh, "We've went back and forth a couple times at two hundred bucks," and so I'm like, yeah, "I think I'll take that two hundred dollars and just keep on trucking," kind of thing. Heck yeah, that's so yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a cool piece, and it's still hot. So I'm like, "All right, let's get let's get rid of winter stuff now because we'll be, <laughs> we'll be finding more of it very very soon." Yeah. And now it's time for our CD and cassette scores of the week. And as always, we start with flipping cassettes. All right, nothing exciting this week. I mean, really nothing exciting. I spent four and I sold for 10. So, but I'm still selling cassettes. Yeah. Just sometimes they're not exciting. And you guys had no music sales. What? I know. <laughs> what? That was a good one, Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, people always say, but Jay, you know so much more about music than, than I do. That's a true statement. <laughs> However, I don't know everything. I haven't an effing clue who Eyes is. But yeah. look, I'm happy to sell Eyes' EP for $65. Heck yeah. Because you know what I do have, which we all have? One of these, a smartphone. And so you can do research on the fly in the store. And you too can find out that this record is a $65 record. Now, EP means there's only like five songs on the whole thing. So someone really wanted eyes. Yeah. Wow. Good job. And <laughs> eyes is a tough, you know, thing to sell and to look up because it's a regular word and that's it. It's just eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So uh, just because you don't know music doesn't mean you can't profit from it. And now we go from flipping cassettes to flipping CDs. All right, I will let y'all read this one on your own since you want to show plea pants. <laughs> the band is all leather, and you can read the title of their CD. <laughs> they are so small, such a small band, they don't even have a Wikipedia page. I can't imagine why. Now, when we're done, I want y'all to go Google, uh, YouTube that song and listen to it. I've officially become too old because I'm like, this is music. This is so <laughs> painful. I've said it to a bunch of people, and they've all said, yikes so I, pay, I spent four bucks i did sell it on discogs another great website to sell on so uh, a nice return nice uh so last week someone said if i sell sold the uh bootlegs or import bootlegs i'm like i don't and okay. i didn't this week either <laughs> simon nice. and garfunkel so we went from all leather <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. So this is a uh, Italian import, and that usually means not the most legit ever. Oh, good to know. But you know, <laughs> it, it got listed. No one bothered me. It got sold. Twenty eight bucks. I'm a happy camper. Nice, nice. All right, Emmy Lou Harris. This is a DVD audio. It's five point one surround sound. You have to play it on your DVD player, but Ooh. it fills the room as opposed to just stereo, left and right. Uh, so if you have a DVD player and you've never listened to DVD audio and you can find one of your favorite, uh, albums on DVD audio, it's a whole different listening experience when hotel California is all the way around. It's pretty awesome. The bass is under your couch. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that was 39 bucks. And then my big one for the week was the soundtrack to the movie Uncommon Valor, composed and conducted by James Horner. Picked this up in LA two weeks ago with my wife for 30 bucks. Two weeks later, it sold for $95. So nice, nice, nice. nice. Uh, so that was a nice quick flip. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's time for our duds of the week. Do not let our mistakes be yours. Yeah, see, Nadine listened to that CD, and she even said, because she does like some uh, out there stuff from her youth. She yeah. was like, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely YouTube it. Don't Google that. I, I don't know if the Google results will be what you want. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yes, just go straight to YouTube, please. Yeah, just skip that. Um, okay, you're done. So we picked this up because it said Lily Pulitzer. Um, which is a fantastic clothing brand that is definitely a bolo, but people don't really want to make little tiny silicone ice um, cube mold things. <laughs> they don't want to play with them. They sat in our store for like a year and a half, I want to say. Yeah. And we finally sold it for 10 bucks free shipping. We're like, get out of here. Yeah. Go away. Done. See ya. <laughs> okay. Now this little guy is still listed. He has been up for two years. He's a Geico Gecko hand puppet that I saw and was like, this is so unique. Oh, it's amazing. But I didn't check comps. And when I got home, there was like 50 of them. Um, we've dropped his price. We've put him in golf club covers uh, category. We've done all kinds of crazy stuff. So if you want to buy him, head on over to Pete's Treasures eBay, and we will cut you a deal. All right. Mine this week is already arrived to a customer, and then the sad trombones played. Oh no! Wah, wah. These are some sweet shoes. I paid six yeah. bucks and sold for a hundred dollars, and they went to Puerto Rico, and they got there in two days. Now, look, I know Puerto Rico is part of the United States. Everyone should know that from like fourth grade. It's amazing how many people don't. Uh, but still, it, it's it's an island. It still has. Uh, I was like shocked. But here's the problem that really shocked me. Yeah, one says eight, and one says eight and a half. And Kelly, my old assistant before she left, didn't notice that. Oh no. Oh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, at so least they there's a dud. Out. Didn't, well, didn't just think they were broken. <laughs> there's a dud. There is a dud because, yeah, that person doesn't have an eight and a half and eight. Now, funny, my left foot is a 12 regular. My, thir my right foot is a 13 extra wide. So <laughs> I am a freak like that. And so if I got a pair of shoes that was 12 on left and 13 wide on right, I'd be like, score. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Happy accident. Uh, do I list my CDs on eBay, Amazon, and Discogs? Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> so those are coming back, but I am going to relist them. There's got to be someone like me who has an eight and a half and an eight. Surely, got, yeah. Got to be. <laughs> And now it's time for Where in the World Did Our Stuff Go? If you are not shipping internationally, you are leaving out 7.3 billion with a B potential customers. Hey, that's mine. I don't know how to say this place. Muse? Muse? Do you know how to say that? <laughs> uh, where is it, Germany? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Muse, yeah, Muse Germany. Um, we just picked this. This is crazy. We picked up this glass two days ago. And I listened to it yesterday. We didn't have an international when I sent you the email originally. And then wow. sudden, this sold probably 15 minutes after I listed it. Um, but we knew ahead of time that it would sell. Um, we've sold this exact glass for 190 before. Why is this glass that expensive? So Duvel is, has a uh, limited edition or had in 2010 a limited edition artist series. Ah. For some reason, this artist, Jono, is like the main guy. Um, there's a few others, like this little guy that we also listed that are popular, but they sell for like 30. This one, always between 140 and 190, and it's going to Germany. And, uh, you know, there's Tom in the chat going, man, I don't have that one in my beer glass collection. So, yeah. So, mm -hmm. now now I'm equating it to Tiki Mugs. I'm like, all right, I got to keep my eyes peeled because to me it looked kind of normal. Yeah, we see those Duvels all the time, but the Artist series is the one to look for. All right. Speaking of kind of normal and weird, uh, I got this in a purse lot 
from Esta of Miami. I'm not sure what ALT is. At first, I saw it. I was a little dyslexic. I'm like, a purse for Atlanta? Nope, that'd be a <laughs> uh, I, I forget what ALT is. There are other ones listed, but uh, this just sold to Paris, $80. And, and when I started doing my research, I'm like, I'm not going to get too much for this. $80 plus they've spent 24 shipping. Heck yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Bring okay. on the weird purses is what I got to say, because <laughs> I love it. And again, that's why we talk about this. Internationally, someone in Paris really needed this vintage uh, made in Miami purse, and it's off on its way to its new home. Fashion. <laughs> and now it's time for You Have Got to Be Shipping Me. What to do and what not to do when it comes to shipping. Hey, this is my tip. All right. Hey! So we are always looking for ways to um, like get our brand out to the customer. Um, and tape is so expensive. Custom stickers are super expensive. Uh, Aaron was a magician and magically one day was like, let's get a stamp. He got us a super inexpensive stamp with our logo on it. And now every box is our logo <laughs> is branded. So I put it on everything and it's super, super cheap. It saves a ton of money from buying those um, custom tapes and all that stuff. So. Yep. I like it. I, I had one at Lost Ink and then like typical things with me. I'm like, oh, okay. I'll get a new one that I never did or, or ink the one I had. No. Right. <laughs> all right. Before I show my tip, how many people watching right now, either live or after the fact, leave, leave a comment down below. One of their fears is international shipping taking too long. Now, to be yeah. honest, I have two issues right now where customs in two different countries have decided to be like, we're going to take a nap for three weeks. Okay. <laughs> it happens. But guess what? It isn't the norm. Here's the norm. Oops. My graphic is too big. Left uh, or uh, accepted on September 3rd from here in Vegas, delivered on the 14th in England. That's fast. That's 11 days, everybody. Wow. 11 days. That's Not crazy. even two weeks, 11 days. And the bonus to go the extra mile for the customer to get the sale, he said, hey, because he saw a listing of one of these, do you have two? Now, I didn't have two in the office, but I had one at home. So mm -hmm. I quickly just took two of the same pictures and made it a lot. Nice. And then I ran home and grabbed one and he saw it. So yeah, 11 days over to Europe. That's awesome. That was using pirate ship, right? Yes, using pirate ship. So don't cool. be afraid because look, I've had packages lost to California. I've had packages lost to Italy. I okay. didn't cut out California. I'm certainly not cutting out the rest of the world. So it happens. But a lot of times this is the norm. I love when I get feedback. I'm like, already? Sweet. Nice. <laughs> That's a cool mug. And now it's time for the thrifty tips of the week. Little tips and tricks to help you out when you're outsourcing. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is mine. Um, yeah. So we just, we got our business all set up um, with our, our federal or our uh, state taxes and all that stuff. And we realized we now have a tax number and we can be tax exempt when we shop. Um, if you're selling in the, if you're a reseller, you can get the tax exemption depending on your state. Um, just check that out and see what you can do. And you can turn that into the thrift stores when you're sourcing and not have to pay the sales tax on it. It's super helpful. Do you live in Illinois? I don't. This is not mine. Um, Debbie made this. One. Debbie's graphic. <laughs> what? Hey, Deb, there was no Texas one laying around Google. It kind of confused me because Illinois looks like a steak. When it crashed <laughs> up, I was like, why is there a steak? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah do that. Funny. Save some money. God dang, my graphics are huge for some reason. Okay, so oftentimes records, CDs, movies, things like that are autographed on the front, but sometimes they're autographed on the back. So I picked up this Mae West Christmas because I'm like, oh, naughty Mae West with Santa Claus? Hell yeah. <laughs> and then when I flipped it over, it is hand signed by her. Boom, nice. Uh, now, as you can see, I paid $9. And let's see what the last one sold for. $170. Now, the only problem is there's this weird gigantic tape over the back and the front. So I don't think I'll get the $173 mm. or $170. However, I think I will do better than the nine bucks I invested. Yeah, for sure. So always check the back, especially on kitschy, unique artists like Mae West. Santa. 
like I wouldn't stop and look at every Kenny G thing, but you know, Mae West had caught my eye, a body uh, Christmas album with Santa and Mae West. Yeah. And then boom, it's autographed on the back. I'm like, Ooh, that's even better. You're on an autograph roll. Yeah, I know. And, <laughs> and the thing is, I'm not hunting for them. They just kind of keep showing up. So uh, keep your eyes peeled and look, <clears throat> as we've always said, if you got a Mickey Mantle or a Michael Jackson, maybe, or a uh, Michael Jordan, you're probably going to get those verified. Yeah, I'm going to look up other Mae West autographs if it looks the same. And and since I've seen other of this exact same record, mm -hmm. I'm pretty confident it's hers. And I'm not, not too worried about making sure it's legit. Yeah, nice. I can't imagine a lot of people faking Mae West autographs. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm guessing most people nowadays. Do you even know who Mae West is, Matt? Of course I do. Yeah, well, you're you young. Know. You're young, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's someone watching right now going, Mae who? And now it's time for our online selling tips of the week. It doesn't matter if you're selling on Etsy, Depop, Macari, Poshmark, or eBay. These are little tips and tricks to help you when you're selling. Oh, this is our Depop. That was my Mae West impression. I'm done. Um, I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> Why don't you visit our Why don't you come up and see Pete's Treasure sometime? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so we we have been getting really into Depop uh, this past year, really. Um, and I'm always looking for ways to make the buyers find our store because it's really, really heavily saturated. Um, and one of the best things that I've found is under shipping um, with them. They have a system where you can check off the way you want to do your shipping. Um, and right now, if somebody buys a single thing, they pay shipping. But if they do bundles, then they get free shipping from us. Um, and that's a fantastic way to get people to A, buy more from your shop and start looking at your shop. We've found they tend to promote you more when you have um, at least bundles shipped for free. So if you're over there, check it out. You can also do the highest shipping price of the items that they bought. So That'll give you a little bit of cash, but it's a very fun thing to check out. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Before I show mine, what is this? Oh, uh, that's the new Halloween 2021 Disney Jack Skeleton popcorn bucket that lights up. I know I want it. Yes. So that's from <laughs> Disneyland. And I used two of the things that we have taught over and over again. And I got an instant sale. There was 47 listed. I listed mine. And it's sold like that. And here's why. Tell me. Show me. Let's look at my first picture. Boom. Job's going to drop the mic right there. Then done. Collage. <laughs> Collage your different colors. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at the other ones, are they going to show many on my listing? Nope. Uh, no one's doing this. No one. But to take it one step further. Come on. Keep scrolling. Uh, we threw the video in. Yeah. Nice. And the video is it changing its colors. So, boom. So, collage and videos, when appropriate, this item is the ultimate inappropriate. Yeah, for sure. And what, yeah. what program do you use for um, the collage? You Just pick, pick collage, collage, the free app on your phone. Same. Yeah. Super sweet. And, uh, oh, look what's coming up. How to use Macari. That's that's hilarious. You should watch Oh, my it. God, it's showing us. <laughs> and we're we're gonna get sucked down the vortex here comes the matrix <laughs> too funny oh, no. I love it. and now it's time for unseasonably sold what did you sell out of season okay but we're getting real close to christmas season but this is a little beachy a little christmasy so it's kind of on the on the fence in between the two um, yeah, we just sold this, this blanket. Uh, it's a lighthouse on the beach with Santa Claus in the background. 30 bucks. We love picking up these tapestry blankets because they are easy to store. They roll up really small and uh, are easy to list, and people love them. They might sit for a little bit, but that's all. Uh, now, yeah, we're going to call, call a moratorium to calling Christmas out of season by the next show because mm -hmm. now we'll be in the season. Yeah. Uh, and so because I sold the dysfunctional family Christmas today, and then I sold the Christmas by the Letterman later on today. Mm -hmm. So yes, Christmas is starting to sell. So starting uh, in October, uh, we'll, we'll start calling things summer out of season and Easter and stuff like that. Nice. But, but this shows you Christmas is rolling. Get your Christmas stuff up if it isn't already. For sure.
Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're angry, and sometimes they're just plain weird. Now it's time for the feedback of the week. Hey, this feedback was super nice. Um, just had a cool Holiday Inn, Day uh, Daytona Hurricane glass mug, fast shipping, and super securely packed like Fort Knox. I love this because this was a super breakable item, and I always get a little nervous no matter how confident I am in my shipping <laughs> when there's something a little fragile like this. Um, and this is kind of rare. It's that Holiday Inn sign that doesn't exist anymore. Um, yeah, so it, it's kind of an icon. It's going to be out there for a while. I didn't want it to break. So it was nice to hear that I packed it like Fort Knox. Okay, I've, I haven't had a weird one in a while, so it was about time. Yes, let's do it. Excellent communication. We never talked. Had a problem. No, we didn't. But resolved quickly and would not hesitate to do business with again with seller. Well, thank God. I mean, it ended nice. <laughs> After he left it, he messaged me later and went, oh, that was for somebody else. <laughs> at so at least it's positive. At least it looks like it's okay. But when I first read it, I'm like, we never talked or had any issues. <laughs> <laughs> Something's fishy here. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I, I am like, oh, well, cool. Nice. And I've already got a great one for the next show too. So Ooh, nice. uh, I'm excited for the next show just because I got, I got two feedbacks today. I'm like, oh, I want to share those. I love when that happens. All right. So uh, before we get our guests on here, let's talk about a little bit of housekeeping. Hey, where can we find you and Aaron? Well, if you want to find us, you can find us over at Pete's Treasures on YouTube. Uh, we just passed 500 subscribers, so we are super excited. We're moving up in the world. So come on over and visit us. We are putting out lots of new videos. Uh, we're we're backlogged, so we got so many videos coming out. Um, and yeah, you can also find us at uh, Pete's Treasures on Instagram. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be having a live sale um, on Pop Shop Live. Super excited about that. Um, we normally do evening shows, but tomorrow we're going to do an afternoon show, and it's just going to be me hanging out, selling some live plushes. If you are ever curious about Pop Shop Live, pop on over, say hello, and see how it works. It's a really cool platform um, that's kind of up and coming. Uh, Jason's had a, a run on there. We've had a run on there. We're really enjoying it. So yeah, head on over. And if you're interested in becoming a seller, you can always email us at shoppeetstreasures at gmail.com. And we will help hook you up getting selling in there. So they called me the other day. <gasps> what did they say? And they're like, we miss you. I'm like, you call everybody? They're like, no, just certain people. <gasps> and I said, all right, well, here's what, you know, I'm doing. Here's what uh, I want to do. They said, all right, we're going to help you do some stuff and give you some deals. I'm like, okay. Nice. They, so they, they, they missed me. And I haven't been back only because it's been busy. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to do um, videotapes next since I have 6,000 of them. And I shot a video, the, the 22nd promo video. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on all the 6,000 tapes and they're all just around me. I love so, that. <laughs> so the guy that's working with me directly from Pop Shop, he's going to be excited when he sees that video because I made it very visual. Even my assistant, my teenager who was helping me, she was like, this is awesome. <laughs> I love that. That's so okay. Cool. So the reason we're doing a show tonight is because my wife and I are always on a quest for Tiki, and mm -hmm. we are leaving tomorrow for a 10-day driving trip, something we haven't done since we were dating. And the whole point of our trip, let me get rid of this so you can see it a little bit better, yeah. is because way up at the top there where it says Sip and Dip, way up in Montana, it's a Tiki bar, as you can see in the bottom of that picture, with mermaids. Not good drinks, but live mermaids. And then by bonus, since we booked this trip, uh, they opened a good tiki bar in Boise called the Devil's Den. Hmm, we are the den of sin with a devil. Where did they get that idea? So yeah, States sure. and I are out of here tomorrow. We are starting our trip tomorrow night at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada, where each room has a different creepy clown. <laughs> That's amazing. I love and it. That is my perfect segue to read this thank you card from Annette, who is in the chat tonight. Uh, hope you enjoy the new addition to your creepy clown collection. Consider him a small gift as a token of my appreciation for all you do. Aww. I've been binge watching your YouTube shows in reverse order. So if you're watching reverse order, by the time you get to number one, that, that data will be kind of out of date. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm currently on my way back to May 2020. So I can honestly say I'm learning from you daily. So thank you, Annette, for that. And here's what Annette got me. Love that. That's so sweet. Oh, someone made a bloody creepy clown. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Kill, 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 kill. Die, die, die. So, yeah. So, I'll take a picture and then we check into the clown motel tomorrow night. I'll be like, look at my clown. 
I love that. I should drag that with us. So, uh, because of that, no show. Do I have, well, no, okay. So, no mom and I show this week. Got it. Because I'll be on the road. Uh, and no show next Thursday, Thursday Business. But two weeks from Thursday, uh, our guest, Michael and Amanda Freed, who you know, they've been on the show before, they paid off their mortgage 10, 11 years early from hustling on eBay. Wow. And That's so awesome. they reached out and said, hey, we just paid off our mortgage. Would, uh, would you want to talk about it? I'm like, hell yes, because <laughs> everyone should have that goal. doesn't have to be huge. could be just a driving vacation to a tiki bar with mermaids, or it could be paying off your mortgage. Everyone should have a goal for their business. doesn't even have to be your eBay business. You should have goals in life. For sure. I want to go on this vacation. I, I, I want to drive. I just watched your guys' uh, travel uh, vlogs. Nice. So I want to go from Phoenix to Vegas to uh, Palm Springs. So. Oh. The great drive. You have those goals. And so goals really drive your your success and your your needing to be successful. For sure. So we're going to talk about that in two weeks. So uh sorry, we'll we'll be gone for a week and a half, but uh stay slayer on the road. We're gonna go see the sites. Plus, we've never been to Montana, we've never seen Yellowstone and Grand Tetons. So we're doing all that stuff too. Nice. So we're not just driving for mermaids because there are, there's a mermaids and casinos here in Vegas, but we are driving to see uh, the sites too. So love that. Uh, all right. So let's get our guest in here and let me see if I can. Where, where's my thing? Let's see if I can do it. And now it's time for the thrifty business special guest of the week. Ding dong. Okay, I kind of cheated because I got the artwork ready. I'm, I'm still trying to figure all these years. I'm still trying to figure out the flow. So you're fine. <laughs> I get it in close. Hi, Jess. How you doing? Good. I was trying to find a good because you live closest to um, Forbidden Island, right? Yes. I was trying to find a mug uh, to that, and I couldn't figure out where a couple of my mugs were. So I was like, "Dang, that's the one that's close to her house." Uh, have you been to Forbidden Island lately? Uh, about two months ago. Maybe. Do they have a parking lot sale coming up? They do. They when do. is that? I feel like it's this month. Yeah. Uh, are yeah. you going to that? I don't know if we're going to go to that. Uh, we used to sell at those. Ooh, cool. We sold at the first two, I think, that they had. It was amazing. I was going to say, did you do well? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> if you have a specialty in something and you can find some place that has like, you know, a specialty flea market, so to speak, oh. uh, you know, definitely a hookup. I, I've sold that some of them in LA from time to time and uh, done quite well. Nice. Yeah, done go. quite well. All right. So let's see a show of hands in the chat. Uh, and I, I will not, I will not shame you, but let's see a show of hands. <laughs> Who is not selling a Macari yet? Wait, my co-host is selling on Macari? Wait a minute. I, I, I guess I didn't ask that question. Usually I try to have a co- I can Wait explain. <laughs> what? We, we have had things listed on Macari, but we currently have no listings on Macari. There you go. All right, so why'd you take them off? Um, to be completely honest, we, we our business goal uh, turned into really focusing on eBay um, for that past year. And then now we're putting our all our focus on Depop and Pop Shop. Um, so it's just one of those things. It's kind of it's on the the list of things we want to really focus on. Main things first. Uh, as always, there's always someone who's like that lamp is sick. I was just out. about to say, you know, the chat's going to go crazy for that lamp. Can we? See there's that? a little better. <laughs> okay. Um, well, now Lisa says she isn't selling, but here's the one downfall with Macari. It's only U.S. based. Well, and Japan, oh. but we don't have any Japan doors. Uh, but you can't sell internationally. So Lisa is in Canada. Uh, so Dale isn't. Todd isn't. I haven't yet. Yeah, because they're at, there she is because they're on Canada. We got nothing in listed. All right. Come on. All y'all, let's go. Because let me tell you, my goal, I said it last week, was to have $1,000 saved up for this trip and surprise Stacy with, hey, I've got our fun cash that mm -hmm. I just kind of kept. And I ended up with 1500 So I, I blew past my goal. Again, set your goals because when you break them, you feel even better inside. You're like, hmm, I'm so warm and fuzzy. <laughs> uh, now, Jess, how long you been selling on Macari? Uh, since 2018. Oh yeah, you've been you've been around for a while. As soon as I heard about it. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, where is my mom? My mom, unfortunately, is a guest on another show tonight, oddly what? enough. But it's one, this is the third time because her internet broke the first two times. And so I, I just realized today, I'm like, oh, no mom tonight because she's on the show. And guess what was broke this morning? Her internet. Her internet. <laughs> but it got fixed. So good Lord. Wow. Uh, Janet sells more Macari than eBay. So how, how does that stack up for you, Jess? How, how's your Macari sales compared to your other platforms? eBay is still my number one. It's like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and then all the other random little ones. Nice. Okay. Facebook and I have like 15 platforms. <laughs> all right, Stacy, you just put the smack down on all of you. Stacy has <laughs> sold on Macari. Stacy doesn't do this for a living. Every once in a blue moon, she's like, I don't need these shoes anymore. And she pops them up on Macari while we're sitting on the couch. If Stacy has sold on Macari, <laughs> y'all better get on there. <laughs> Love that. Uh, is your lamp Hager? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I've had it for a long time. Uh, when I bought it, I don't think they had the brand listed. I have a, I have two like this. <gasps> the Are other one is red and or white and black with the red. Oh shirt. man, Let, let's see that one next. <laughs> really? Uh, I used to switch them out. Actually, a couple. Yeah, we haven't seen now. the red and the black one. Uh, <laughs> all right. So Jack's treasures brings up a good point. I do think Macari's for specific items. Like there's some shit that I would not put that I have on eBay and, and Amazon and Marketplace that just doesn't work in Macari. Macari is mm -hmm. definitely way more pop culture oriented, I would think, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like my Disney stuff does very well in Macari and uh, moves rather quick. W what are you selling on Macari, Jess? I have almost everything, uh, at least I'm trying to get everything cross posted there. It seems like I sell a lot of. Uh, books and CDs. Okay. But clothes do well there too. And I've sold expensive stuff. Like I had a pair of fry boots, I think, that I got $200 for. Wow. And I expected those to go on Poshmark. Yeah. And somebody bought them on Mercari. I'm like, okay, cool. Nice. Whatever you want. Oh, that. Cool. Oh, there's Do you use a um, cross posting? Uh, in I just started using a cross-posting service because I was trying to keep up and I couldn't. Gotcha. I had to cancel something uh, last week because it sold already. And uh, down. <laughs> that, yeah, we've all done it. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about Macari Local because that is brand, brand new. And like I said, you should always read the literature. <laughs> Someone was trying, I don't want to get into a political discussion, but someone was trying to talk smack about the current administration today and posted a screenshot. I go, yeah, that happened during the last administration because they neglected to read it. They just saw the screen grab and they were like, must be this administration. I'm like, hey, dingling, read five seconds. You'll find out it's from the last one. <laughs> so I thought Macari Local was like Facebook, Craigslist. Oh, hey, want to meet the corner in front of the grocery store? Sure. And then someone said, because I kind of put that out there and someone said, no, 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 no. So Jess, how does Macari local work? It's supposed to be a uh, contactless for you. So you sell the thing, then they send you, uh, they send you a little schedule of, I think I had two days worth of pickup times I could choose from. My item sold on a, um, a Saturday morning. And I picked the soonest one that I had because I was like, yeah, let's get this out of here. And you just box up or seal up the item in something um, and put the person's name and I think their apartment number or their address on it and put it on the porch and an Uber driver comes and picks it up. Wow. And then delivers it to the person. And I got... They rated me, I think it was the next day. I was waiting. I, was like, <laughs> I wanted to know it was going to work. So Staring at your phone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, so they, uh, they finally, they rated me and everything was great. And, and um, she was really happy. The only thing I wish I could have done is uh, my, the Uber driver that came and picked it up was so pregnant. Oh no. She was waddling up our walkway when I watched her on the doorbell camera later. And I'm like, if I had known, I would have taped a tip to the box. Oh, yeah. Sure. I don't think they get tips for that. I think they just get like a set fee. So um, it is through Uber. They're they're 
They do FedEx also, but apparently here it's just Uber. Okay. Same. So it, uh, I'm assuming, so Angelique wants to know, is there a size limit? Yeah, it's like, um, wait, I have it here. I just looked it up so I could read it. 45 by 35 by 15 inches. And it's got to be under 50 pounds. Oh, so okay. their, their little things initially said it needs to fit in the trunk of a Prius. <laughs> okay. So... Um, there's been a couple things I've wanted to sell and I'm like, ah, it's too big, but. So what what's this way? This is what you sold. Oh, that had to weigh 30 pounds. Yeah. It's so 30. although it's not, you know, big, big, it it's, it's a solid piece. And so yeah. you and don't want to really deal with it. But the great thing is just set it out there. Someone picks it up, drops mm -hmm. it off. Now, for those who have not sold the Macari, it is also very high tech and where eBay should be, but they ain't yet. Uh, the second the like, say if I'm the seller, the second the box leaves and gets scanned in, the buyer gets the notification on their app. Hey, your, your stuff's moving. I get the notification. Hey, your item's moving. And then as it gets delivered, I get that notification. The buyer has three days to 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 rate it. And so it's all very quick and all very you know exactly where everything is in the process. Oh, cool. Yeah. And every every app, should, you know, every selling platform should be like that nowadays. It's all very trackable and easy. Why is it integrated into everyone? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Paul said, "Someone's getting rid of the dead body. Is it a small dead body? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Go too dark right there because I said small dead body. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> under fifty pounds. <laughs> um, so uh, here's what I think. I think this is their test run." And I think as if it goes well, which I think it will, they will find ways to do the bigger stuff because they realize that we all have a bedroom set to sell, a couch, mm -hmm. you know? And so when they employ people with trucks, then it's a different story. Um, we had a, a long time ago, we had an app called Roadie that did that. But Roadie got so expensive for the average consumer because they must have got like all these great business contracts that it just kind of disappeared from the average person. Like you could say, Hey, I got a chair that needs to go to LA and someone would swing by, pick it up and drive it to LA. Okay. And it would be cost effective. Nowadays it isn't. So I think Macari's uh, baby stepping into it. And I think, um, uh, that's going to happen. Now you live in a populated area with a lot of people. The Bay area tends to have just a few people. So, you know, if you're in the corner of Nebraska, this might not be as advantageous, the local part of it, <laughs> as uh, Jess, you know, I'm in I'm in Vegas, and so it's a lot of people in Vegas. Matt's in uh, Dallas, and uh, so a lot of people there. So definitely something that you should be using. Uh, that's a great question. Does it give a mileage limit for delivery and pickup? Is there a radius? You know, they don't tell you. I'm sure that there is. It just seems to show it to people, you know. Yeah. You don't set anything. You just tell tell them where you are, which they know that already. But uh, I think it goes by, it, it'll say that there's like a range and that the delivery is starting at $7.99 or $12.99. And it goes up to a certain amount, but I don't think it exceeds like $25 or $30. Would I go shop and look at like, if I'm going to buy local, nothing has shipping that's more than that. So it must not be. Uh, gotcha. It must not, no, they, they probably just don't go that far. Interesting. And the buyer pays for the Uber, right? The buyer pays for the Uber and you don't see how much it costs them. You don't see that side of it at all. That's completely between them and Mercari and Uber. Gotcha. Now, can you still offer the the traditional local pickup or does yeah. this completely replace it? You can. Yeah, you can. And actually I, um, this was one, the only item that I've listed so far that I just listed for local only, but okay. you can opt in. Uh, Mercari will tell you when it's available in your area and you can opt in and they'll just add local to all your listings. Awesome. So people can pick and choose because maybe somebody wants something right away. Mm -hmm. You know, this lady had her mixer in two hours. <laughs> she was in the middle of making a cake. Hers broke. Yeah. She said, shit. And she's oh, like, oh, the just had one. That, the ideas that ran through my head. Yeah. My husband and I were sitting around talking all these scenarios of why she would need this mixer right this minute. 
So here's a great example. This is my listing of a Tiki Bull from Trader Sam's. And mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, Mac uh, Macari Local on it. So I'm seeing that because I'm local to myself, obviously. Right. Uh, but it's $7.99 fee. And so if someone really needed this bull to make a drink at some point in the day, they could buy it. I'd, I'd put in the box, set it out front. Uber come by, take it to them. They made their cocktail. They're happy. I'm happy. The whole world's happy. There by dinner. <laughs> So it's really easy when you go to uh, uh, list it in the shipping section. Let's see, yeah. Let me see burr, like. burr, burr. There we go. So there is uh, both Macari local and shipping. So shipping for that big bad boy will be seventeen seventy five, and then local delivery would be eight bucks. And then there's your sea size requirements. And there it is. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, I've been in some car trunks that were really big. Don't ask. Uh -huh. uh, I've been in some car trunks that were really small. Don't ask. Uh, so, uh, you know, to say it fits in a car trunk, that's a pretty wide range. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I, yeah, that's amazing. I like that because um, you, you have so many things that are just like a little too heavy for eBay and a little too. So that's an awesome little. Well, like I didn't want to ship this mixer. Because mm. I've seen pictures of them breaking in transit, mm -hmm. you, you know, because people don't like they don't lock it down and then pack it really well. And and just just packing it to go in the Uber was a pain. And, you know, I, I didn't really. <laughs> okay, so what do you do? Because you weren't packing it for it to ship and be sitting under a thousand pounds of boxes, but you also didn't want it just bouncing around in the Uber's trunk. So how much did you pack it like it was normal or did you just get paper in there so it didn't move? Uh, I had a bunch of, uh, coincidentally had somebody drop off a box full of that big bubble wrap and it fit in the box with enough room around it. And we just, and then we crammed paper in all the, the gaps mm -hmm. and it had accessories. So I had everything in there so that it wouldn't get, you know, yeah. dinged and damaged. And I had a, a cookbook sitting there that just happened to be a KitchenAid cookbook. And I'm like, they get this too. <laughs> surprise run around the it. house going extra prices it didn't surprise. matter so i'm like sure i was gonna donate this anyway all right I so matthew you. run through your head you got things you're like i'm gonna put this on macari local oh yeah I, the second i saw that weight limit i was like oh yeah I got this, this is <laughs> see uh but this is a great question elisa's got <clears throat> do you have to be home for that for that box to get picked up or can you just leave it and go no there you i go. stayed home but <clears throat> yeah, i would too but yeah it's just like anything else, uh, you know, having the mail service pick up your packages or mm -hmm. having groceries delivered. I, I mean, you don't really have to be there. Yeah. So I just got a message from Verizon. Uh, they called me and I, I declined it because I'm a little busy. Mm -hmm. This was, hey, have us call you back. And, and the callback time is five minutes and 38 seconds. And I did that at 10 a.m. this morning. What? <laughs> and they just called now at 549. Oops. I was even thinking, I'm like, that mother effer has never called me back. <laughs> Five minutes, they said. <laughs> All right, here's a great question. What if Uber loses it or breaks it? I'm guessing you're covered. <clears throat> it said in the fine print there's a $200 coverage oh, okay. for like loss or damage. Gotcha. Because I know people are, a lot of people don't trust Uber or those services. Um which we, use, we use delivery services all the time here, yeah. so I'm not worried about that. But um, I probably wouldn't do it with obviously with something that was worth five hundred dollars. I would sell it a different way. Yeah. Can you leave notes for the driver on where to pick it up, like yeah. you do Uber Eats? Okay. Oh yeah, there was a there was a little section to make notes for the. Uh... Do you have to buy insurance, or well, you said up to two hundred bucks is cover, right? Yeah, it was just included. Lisa oh. says, doggy. <laughs> yes, there will be a big advantage to those of us who live in populous areas in the holidays. Mm -hmm. So make sure, you know, get your feet wet now. Those of you who live in, in bigger cities or near bigger cities, someone's going to be like, holy crap, I don't got I don't got a gift for Aunt Sue. Look what Jason's got a Macari. We're going to get it sent over real quick. OK, so keep that in mind. Now we have a bonus bonus, a bonus, a bonus. We have a bonus. <laughs> We have a bonus fun uh, guest. Marisa, how are you? 
<laughs> oh, no mic. You said you were having problems with your mic. I still don't hear you. So well, while she works on that, let me get, oh, that's why. She didn't want to deal with sending this gigantic thing. Wow. Oh, one of those. You look good. I want it. Nope. So uh, there's a gear, you know, and I didn't test with anybody today because y'all been on the show before. So I didn't even think to test with anybody today because I'm like, ah, you're all old timers. Been around. <laughs> Matt's good. Jess is good. Apparently, we should have tested. Uh, that gear down at the bottom, can you switch mics? Well, that's a bummer. All right. So I will tell the story, even though I don't know. I'll just make it up as I go. Uh, so this was um, this was bequeathed to Marisa in a will. And her aunt said, you better not sell it. And then she said, look at Macari Local. Get rid of it. Bye. I don't know. That's a good story. <laughs> the rest of the history. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so she had a successful uh, getting this out at 175 bucks. Heck yeah. That's a bummer. All right. So we will uh, have you back on in the near future. And but we and you and I will test and then we'll 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 circle back to this story. Uh, but you look good. You so. do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Technical difficulties. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean that that's a big thing. Like just didn't want to pack a mixer. Maurice is like, I don't want to pack this stupid thing but someone picked it up threw in their trunk and away they went yeah just to comment on the the trusting people thing people forget that uber is a like legit company and these people who are driving for them they've got their social they've got their uh, copies of their id with them so the likelihood of them being a thief, a thief or anything is probably pretty low i would think <laughs> nowadays Yes, I did make up that story, by the way. So I'm guessing that was not even close to the truth. But I figured since we couldn't hear her, I had to say something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always like bummed when I'm watching my friend's show and something like that happens and they just stare at the screen while they're trying to fix it. I'm like, you do have to keep talking. They're, you know, when you're doing a show, there always has to be talking because people are like, oh, there's no talking. It must be over. They just tune out. So yep. you always got to be talking. No dead air. Um, so do you have a, a set schedule for how often you list uh, online, Jess? Do you have a, I need to get 20 things up a week, a day kind of thing? I try to do like, I try to do a minimum of five things a day. Usually I end up doing a big listing of, you know, 20 things or something. So, um, oh, sorry, dog. <laughs> no, that's all right. Matt, what about you and Aaron? Do you guys have goals? Well, of, of course. Yeah. Um, in our house, goals keep us moving forward. If if we don't have something at least on the whiteboard, then we just spiral out in this house with all the things. Um, so yeah, we, we definitely try to get, um, I have like uh, photography days, Mondays are photography days, then Tuesdays are listing days, Wednesdays are packing days. So yeah, for sure. And it, it changes all the time, all the time. What are your goals, Jason? You know, like my, my reason one was the, I wanted a thousand dollars for this trip. So it was kind of almost like found money because McCarty isn't my number one. So not pulling that money out all summer was like, all right, I'm going to drop that into the account this, you know, tonight. Oh, I'm going to have that last bit. I'm going to have 1500 bucks. And so ta-da, I figured yeah. we're going to do about 500 in gas or 600. So, so there's the gas taken care of. And then, you know, tchotchkes along the way and drinks at the, the, the mermaid bar, that kind of thing. So, you know, the, you know, the, the media goal obviously always should be the mortgage is paid, the lights are on, the fridge is uh, full. But then once you get to the point where you're beyond that, all right, what's my next goal? All right, vacation. Put my kid through college. Pay off my mortgage 11 years early. Who does that? Mm -hmm. Oh, my guests in two weeks. Tune in. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> all right. So let's look at some of your other uh, souls here. And, man, you you brought a nice – oh, wait, wait. Let's talk about your dud because it's so big you can't even do Macari local. And what? I love this dud. And I love the fact that all your babies are in the picture. So it's just, it was like win, win, win all the way around. <gasps> all right. So, first off, would you give us a rundown of your babies in the front there? Yes. Please. Uh, on the left in the green shirt is Fred. And he's, uh, he's like 13 years old. And, the brown one is Newman. He's our newest uh, 
our special needs Chihuahua. He's got brain damage. Oh. And in the back is Pixie. <laughs> and um, she's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about this gigantic piece of art. Isn't he glorious? He's, He's just spicy. magnificent. So, now, who, for, for those of us who don't know, who is that? Do you is, know Matt? Matt, do you know? He's a meme, right? He's, yeah. He, he was a very popular meme about him. Uh, aliens, yeah. right? Yes. So there's my pop culture knowledge. I don't yeah, know. The, I is, had no clue who it was. But I know he thinks aliens. I can't think of, I can't say his last name, but his, his first name is Giorgio. And he is from that ancient aliens show. He's a alien expert. Yes. And the memes are always because aliens. Yes. <laughs> I mean, his hair is just so Lord. I was looking on a local uh, garage sale group, an Alameda garage sale group. And um, this came up and I didn't realize quite how big it was. <laughs> it was $10. And I was like, that's hilarious. And the frame is beautiful. And yeah. um, so I made my husband go pick it up after work. <laughs> you didn't figure it out. He's texting me going like this barely fit in the car and I think I sprained something carrying it. Wow. Um and the guy that I bought it from uh used to work for Pixar and I guess had to close his he couldn't go into the office anymore after once the pandemic started cuz I got this about the beginning of like the lockdown. Mm -hmm. And he had all these giant things up in his office which I would love to have seen that because he had a, he had a bunch of other really cool ones too that I missed out on. Oh man. Uh, but he said his wife made him get rid of it because the eyes were following her. <laughs> and I thought that I could, you know, hang it up or reuse the frame even, but we have um, lathe and plaster walls mm. and I don't think we can hang this without breaking our house. Right. <laughs> it's so huge. And it's unfortunately too big. It's not in the Mercari <laughs> limits. How much does it weigh? Oh, Roughly. I, maybe like 30, 40 pounds. Gotcha. It's and how like, tall? Yeah. It's four feet tall. So unless you have like a 67 Lincoln Continental or a Caddy, you ain't fitting <laughs> that in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll so, so, I mean, I have, I'm assuming like, you know, Facebook, you know, pick up only Craigslist, that kind of thing. Plus, you know, you're in the Bay Area. There's a lot of quirky people who would be like, yeah. I need that. I think I think someone will buy it from me, probably for more than I paid for it. I just, I like the idea of Mercari that it's, I don't have to actually deal with a person. Yeah. <laughs> I think like I, I, hey, man, I think we're learning a lot about Jess tonight. I just don't like <laughs> dealing with people. Well... I mean, I can relate for sure. <laughs> you, know, you, you, you sell stuff. Like I list stuff on Facebook Marketplace for pickup and I listed a blender and I got the weirdest questions about this blender. And I finally had to take it down because people kept coming in and offering me money and then not buying it and, and asking stupid questions. And then they were all asking questions in Spanish for some reason for a while. And I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> can we see your feet in this blender picture are you getting any of those <laughs> for five dollars you could see, see my husband's feet i don't want to tell them I love it. so i mean that's a pretty broad question how is macari different from ebay how is any platform different from any other platform they're all selling platforms i call macari like ebay jr the only bummer is is just domestic no international but it's so quick and easy to list Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, there's just not a lot involved, uh, like eBay, you know, eBay is the problem with eBay is, is old. And so like casinos that are old here, you know, the casino starts like this. And then as it, then 10 years go by, they get another, uh, wing and then another wing and another wing. And then the underground is so convoluted. It's hard to get places. And then that's kind of how eBay is. They've been around for 25 years, 26 years. Mm -hmm. So Macari is still fresh, so to speak. Uh, and so they're still compact and very um, modern because of the app and stuff. So, uh, but it's a great platform. Uh, I like selling on it. It, it. I don't think it'll ever be my number one, but it's a healthy number four. Yeah. Good to diversify. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think um, Mercari, too, with, especially with the local pickup, it, it's dependent on where you're at. Like different uh, metropolitan areas are going to be different, wouldn't you say? 
No one oh, forces wow. me. Was that a question for Jess or for me? <laughs> Either one of you. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking. I, I, I was thought it was for Jess, and then it got quiet for a second. I'm like, I was looking at questions. I'm like, did Jess leave? Right. <laughs> it does seem like it's it's definitely depends where you where you are. Yeah. Like you were like Jason was saying before, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you know, yeah. there's no buyers around and no Uber around, that would probably be an issue. I did see on their uh their local the pickup for New York area, they have different size ranges for the mm -hmm. items, and mm -hmm. some of the things are picked up by walkers. Oh Perfect. wow! Because it's New York, so they've got like somebody walking, cool. somebody on a scooter, or does it require a car? Wow! Which, that it never even occurred to me. That... Walking down Fifth Avenue with yeah. the alien guy. <laughs> Just hands. I see his hands. I would just pay money to see that. <laughs> Ship it back uh, to you. You know, what's funny is I was watching Traveling Salvation show today. And kind of like I said, don't have dead air. <clears throat> ben is a, a skateboarder from way back. And in his most recent video, they saw this really cool back of a Goodwill that was like the perfect like little skate park. It wasn't meant to be. Just the way it was paved. He's like, oh, I'm going to skate this after we're done shopping. And then the video ended and there was no skating. I go, hey, don't promise stuff. And then I, I messaged him and he said, yeah, someone was back there donating and it didn't work out. And I'll, I'll skate it in the future and throw it in the video. But I'm like, dang, I was all excited because I can't skate. I like to see when other people skate, especially mm -hmm. someone closer to my age. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, wrap up with your uh, duds and then your awesome scores. <sighs> distress <laughs> you know when the person starts with <sighs> well it's LuLaRoe so it's already bad <laughs> and very I popular right now though because of the documentary <laughs> yeah that's true that's true I haven't watched that yet but I've been meaning to um the I got that I got this for a dollar mm. I got a bunch of LuLaRoe stuff a couple years ago before I really knew what it was and um it, it was new with tags so I was like yeah this is great and there was actually a red, white, and blue version of this flag dress that I had also, which sold, thankfully. Mm -hmm. um, and this one, somebody bought it and she sent me a return request and said that it had a, a foul odor and that it was dirty. And I was like, what the heck happened to this thing in root that this is, you know, such an issue? And she sends it back and there is nothing wrong with it. And thankfully, she didn't leave me feedback. She just took it. was your Macari local Uber driver smoking. That's what was happening. <laughs> well, this was, it sold on eBay. So it was I like, know. I know. Meal. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it It's not white, white. It's kind of antique looking. Oh, yeah. So was the other one. So I don't know what she was expecting, but it might have just been buyer's remorse because she actually paid the return shipping and didn't fight. There you go. So. Okay. These are these are how are these done? It's, it's Halloween. I know. I'm Nobody gonna... wants to buy them. That's how they're done. I cannot I sell these dumb things. I have these listed everywhere. Seven Crows <laughs> Mercantile, come get them. They are awesome. <laughs> they're so cute. I mean, and I just I just did that picture, so I had both because I kept. I don't know why I never thought about it until I saw you guys doing it on one of the shows, doing <laughs> the um, collage for the photo. Because I, I had it with just just the the box. And then I had it with just the lit up part. And I'm like, well, duh, I should have both. <laughs> That's a yeah. good tip, though, too. If, if something's not moving, always you know go in there and adjust little things. Move, yeah. change pictures or whatever. Yeah. Tweet yeah. Those great. The collage picture was great. I right, don't forget, come over to Seven Crows Mercantile. Come get them. <laughs> You know you want. You know you need them for your decorations. You know you do. Well, Plenty of time to get them. All right. So I do love <laughs> that your scores came in from four different websites. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about your eBay score. I sold this in just a couple of days from when I listed it. Uh -huh. um, and the fact that somebody would pay 70 bucks for film that expired in 1982. There it is, right awesome. there. September. Stacy showed me some medicine today. She goes, "When did this expire?" And I look, I go, "2017." Yeah, let's Ooh. probably get some fresh. <laughs> this what film expired in September. I of same. Wow, oddly enough, 1982. Yep. Is this um 
the codec from that used to be made at the factory that doesn't exist anymore? Do we know? Well, probably. I okay. Because <laughs> I mean, I know there was a specific codec. Yeah. Factory, but, okay. Cool. And Good. people will buy old um, Polaroid film too. Yeah. If you can find it. Did you uh, Did you apply for the free teddy bear? That's the question I need to know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you need three proofs of purchase. We only have two. We got to get one more. What? Uh, where'd you find this? Uh, at a garage sale, it came with a camera that I um, just didn't sell immediately. I, I saw that the film was selling on its own, and the camera actually is worth a lot less than the film. <laughs> so I just went ahead and sold the film because it was easier to photograph and everything. So the camera's still in my profit pile. So Lisa said that's the Kodak film that got recalled because they got sued by Polaroid. Oh, okay. So there you go. That's why I was excited. All right, so that was eBay. Makari, get your pantyhose. <laughs> okay, so this one, it's not a big sale. You know, I made $10 and change on this, but it was free. I went to a garage sale and there's a stack of pantyhose and I'm like, how much are they? And she's like, take whatever you want. <laughs> and the other thing is um, pantyhose because they're a lot harder to come by these mm -hmm. days for whatever reason. You know, it's not in fashion, but people will still buy them. So I always buy old stockings, but I buy pantyhose too. And um, I listed this on Mercari and I sent an offer. And so I got a liker and I, I, I got a liker and I sent the offer of like $2 less than my price. And she bought it like in five minutes. Ooh, love when that happens. Nice. And this, you know, this is the kind of the modern thing that eBay doesn't have. Uh, I was just thinking about it. The seller badges. Mm -hmm. If you reply fast, you get the fast responder. If you ship fast, you get the fast shipper. If you don't have any headaches, you get the reliable. And those are the things you want to do. And we recommend you do that on all platforms. <laughs> but here on Macar, they put it on Front Street. You respond fast. You ship fast. You're good. And I, I think I have all those, too. Uh, and so when I'm looking at, you know, I need a product and there's 10 people selling it, if they have these good seller badges, I know I don't have to worry once I've not granted the, the platform will always have your back, but I see all these good badges. I'm buying from Jess because I know I'm going to get it quick. And if I got any problems, she'll talk to me and yay. Yay for Jess. Again. Dang, like 330 reviews. I don't, uh, how many do I have? How do I find that? <laughs> <laughs> 120. All right. So my new goal is to catch Jess. There's my new goal tonight. I, I'm coming. Oh, fast responder is not checked off. What? Uh -oh. Now I'm angry. Uh -oh. Now the I am. chart is not complete. I know. I'm angry. No. I respond right away. What? Oh, I got to talk. I got to call Makari tomorrow. All right. So now we've moved to two Poshmark. Look Ooh. at this awesome shirt. I love it. I so, bought it for my wife. Let's see if she's still in the chat. She hates the Three Stooges. <laughs> the How do you hate the Three Stooges? I, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I even like Larry the best because I feel like nobody likes him. <laughs> so he's my favorite. Sympathetic love. love yeah. Where'd you find this? So this came from an, a garage sale where I got a bunch of shirts yeah. a long time ago. And... Um, you know, it's kind of small. It's on the small side because it's vintage, whatever. Mm. And it has a flaw on the the decal where it looked like it got melted a little bit. Mm. And it had a little hole right in the front. Mm. And I disclosed everything and I have a picture of the, the hole and everything. And somebody, they didn't even send an offer. They just did my asking price. So Love that. there it is. I had it for a while. I probably had that up for about a year. Okay, so what's happening here? That is, uh, it was a host pick for a posh party. Oh. Another one of my experiments that I've been doing in addition to these things with cross-posting and, and the things I've been doing on Mercari mm -hmm. is um, you can, there's those Poshmark parties that happen four times a day. And if you get your items chosen as a host pick, I always put that in there because people it's like they think it's better for some reason. <laughs> it gets shared more. Gotcha. And sometimes you get sales. A lot of people have different views on that, whether or not the having a host pick is actually a good thing or not. But it seems to work for me. 
gives you some motivation to uh, make the photography, you know, even better. So it'll be yeah. like, that's cool. Okay, so my I'll, wife I'll... is signed out as herself and signed in as me because I didn't type that. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks on. Why would you move from you to me? And I don't say ugh to the three stooges. <laughs> I say yes, they're hilarious and awesome. We love them. <laughs> uh, and then lastly, we are on tradesy like this is amazing the amount of the variety you've given us today let me get rid of the graphic here for a second yeah. so we can see it better burp, burp. there we go tradesy so tell, tell us give us the, for those who don't know give us the uh 30 second uh bio of what tradesy is it's sort of similar to poshmark and mercari it's uh they it's one of the newer platforms where a lot of it is on mobile oh right um they they like they have a few specific rules it's mostly clothing and accessories um it's just women's i believe um yeah. sexist i know right <laughs> but um they have they have some particular rules with some of these little uh some of these other websites like on poshmark they people use stock photos all the time mm -hmm. and it seems like people like that and Tradesy will pull your listings down if you have any stock photos at all. Oh, in wow. fact, they pulled one of my listings down because I used the background remover. Oh, wow. Stock photo. Wow. Interesting. Um, and they, they just have like a different uh, payment schedule. It's it's more in line with the Poshmark fees. Okay. Now, is this, do you, do you uh, store your items or do you send them to Tradesy? You keep it's just like everyone else. You keep them yourself and, okay. and keep them out. So it's not real, real. Awesome. So Matt, now I got a yeah. problem with your mother-in-law. <laughs> I'll have a talk with her. <laughs> She's agreeing with my wife. But I, 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 I do it. There, there is a good question though from Elisa. Three Stooges or the Marx Brothers? Mm. Marx Brothers. Uh, I, I am one hundred. I love the Three Stooges, but the Marx Brothers were so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jess? What, what's your call on those two? <laughs> Let's but if you had to pick. it's apples and oranges. But you so, have to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on the desert island. You have to gnaw off one arm, and one arm is Three Stooges, and one arm is Marx Brothers. Which then one? I'll take you? Abbott and Costello. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, she That's came out with a little leg. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to get back to Tracy, uh, <laughs> how long was this listed about uh, that when it sold? Uh, like two days. Oh. Nice. This is part of my my cross posting. I just started uh, going through my older listings and pulling things out and adding them to the cross poster, and I just listed it on Tradesy, and it went. Nice. So, it how, worked. how many <laughs> um, platforms on average do you do per item? Like, if the, when you put this one up, did they go on eBay and Mercari or? This one on eBay, Mercari, uh, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace. Tradesy, Curtsy, Vinted, Depop. Maybe there's some more. Kitizen. That's nine. You're running out of fingers there's there. There's more. Yeah. There's more than that, too. So, I mean, that's going to sell somewhere. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm I'm thinking. I have all this old merchandise, and some of it, it's like, you know, I mean, it's like a $45 item. Yeah. $40 maybe on eBay. I'm like, well, let's just post it, blast it everywhere. Somebody will buy it. Do you use um, re reaching my I you know my audience yet? <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Do you use Cherish? Have you ever sold on that one? I have not. Because that when I saw that photo, that frame, it screamed. Yeah. Cherish. So add a tenth. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> Platform. That, that would be uh, something to think about. Wow, the, the chat has exploded into what about Adam Costello? How about Hope and Crosby? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Wait, if anyone young is listening, I'm like, what are we talking? Burns and Allen. Oh, my God. We're, wow. <laughs> we're going way back. <laughs> uh, what are you using for cross-listing, Jess? Um, I am using uh, Vendu. Vendu. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the one I'm using, I'm waiting for my buddy to make it a little bit better. It works. It's very minimalist, but it's also very easy. So I can move from eBay to um, Macari in mere seconds. Nice. And just have to, you have to adjust one thing and then it's, it's quick. And so that's why I get a lot of Macari. Cause I'm like, all right, I've got all my Ebay's done. Mm -hmm. Sit at home watching TV with Stace. 
cross, 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 cross. But like Jess said, you got to keep in your brain what's where because you're like, ah, crap, that got sold already on this platform. And I got to go back. Oh, <laughs> Mickey and Minnie. Wow, we are off the rails in the chat now. <laughs> well, that's why I started, I signed up for, for Vendu. I, I did look at, there's another one that I didn't go with for various reasons. But uh, I started with Vendu because I used to do it all manually. Yeah. Like when I was watching TV, I would list on eBay first and then I'll list on, you know, cross post it to whatever other sites I had. And that was where I was getting hung up and that now I could go on and market as sold and it delists it everywhere else for me. That's amazing. So yeah. I don't have to do worry yep. so much. That's the one thing my buddy needs, but his price is so right that I go, man, you just got to get a little yeah. bit more robust and I will push it every day. People will be knocking down your door because you've got the right price compared to other platforms. They are charging quite a bit of money. And so if mm -hmm. you can bring the same functionality at a cheaper rate, you will yeah. make your money on quantity. Mm -hmm. yeah. sure. uh, so we'll end on Deb's question. Have your sales gone up since you started cross listing? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. They, they went up when I started cross listing. Um, and I just, I was just like, there's a new platform. Okay, I'm going to sell on it. I was just like, I'll try them all. But once I started <laughs> using Vendu, they've actually gone up quite a bit. And that's only been like two weeks. So. Oh, wow. Nice. That's cool. Have you have you noticed your inventory is getting lower? Like, are you selling a lot more faster? Or is it? It does seem to be because like the things, like the necklace that I listed on, on Tradesy, that was just last week. Was it last week or this week? I don't know. I can't, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I think I shipped that out on Monday. Um, so it sold over the weekend, but uh, yeah, it's, it's there. It's definitely, my inventory is so big. My profit pile is so large. It's not going anywhere anytime really fast, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. I want the inventory to go down and the profit pile to, to uh, wait. You know what I mean? <laughs> The good thing about the 6,000 videos is they're all boxed into boxes of 38. And so the teenager keeps grabbing a box and working on it. And so nice. it's one of those piles that you can physically see it changing because we stacked them all up. And then as she takes every box away, I look in that room and go, it's getting smaller already. I can see it. So she's knocked out five boxes. And I think that's good to your goals too, is when you can see your, your profit piles getting a little bit smaller, it makes you feel a little bit better because some piles don't seem to ever get smaller. My my CDs winning the list is huge right now, but the videotapes, I can already see them getting listed and we'll get them moving and we'll be excited about that. Yeah, my jewelry pile has not shrunk very much, even though it sold quite a bit. I bought about 300 pounds of jewelry during the lockdown because I couldn't thrift. And now, was that all at once or did you just happen to weigh everything you bought because you were curious? Um, well, that's an estimate. Uh it was mostly in like five pound lots. Oh. So I was buying. Well, uh, I bought a lot of. I'm not allowed to shop at ThreadUp anymore. <laughs> like, no more shopping at ThreadUp and no more shopping at Goodwill Blue Fox. Um, uh, the VHS aren't selling yet, but they, the first lot got listed and we're trying the first lot at auctions. We wanted to see if anyone was going to fight. And if not, yeah. then I'll, I'll do buy it now, but we'll see. We priced well, them. We priced them that would make people want to fight. So we'll see what happens. And yes, Jess is definitely wearing a 45 adapter around her neck. <laughs> it's awesome. And for those of you who know that is, yes. Uh, <laughs> Vendu's for a PC, right? It's not an app. Yeah, it it is it has limited um, functionality on um, like iPad or phone. If you're on a browser, mm -hmm. you could do a little bit there, but to get the the full functionality you need a computer with chrome yeah i don't think any of the cross listing things will ever be an app it's kind of involved because they have to know how to go from this platform to this platform and things don't always line up so it's a pretty robust uh uh thing so apps tend to be very you know easy peasy kind of things whereas these plat these uh cross posters will not be easy peasy so yeah. Yeah, Nay's giving you the silver line. At least Julie doesn't take up as much space. <laughs> I just have these these totes. I, they're so heavy, I can't move them by myself. 
yeah. All right. So look, everyone who said they don't sell Macari, let's start. Start this week. I'll, I'll be on the road for 10 days. I'm going to take that poll when we get back and we talk to the Freeds about paying off their mortgage early. All right. How many of you got on there? It is super easy to list. And so get your feet wet. Don't do anything big and expensive. Don't list a four foot tall picture. List something smooth and easy. Something you've already got listed someplace else that maybe hasn't sold yet. Just to get your feet wet. Like we always tell you, start with something small, a pair of jeans, t-shirt. They don't break. And, and figure out what your mistakes are going to be on that. And then once you understand the flow, then just get off with it because it's Q4. People are going to be shopping. If you haven't been listening to the news, toys, paper goods, like books, they're all going to be short supply this year because of the supply chain is screwed up from COVID. Mm -hmm. They said paper went up like 80% in the last three months or some nutty thing at the recycling plant. They're getting 80% more because books are in short supply because so many people bought books during lockdown. That's crazy. And so those of us who sell used, if you've got books, you've got toys, you've got good things for Christmas, we're going to benefit because the store shelves will be empty rather quick. Well, they can't even get the uh, the container ships in. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's like, everything's just hung up at the ports. So we're not going to, people aren't going to have all those new, whatever the hot toy of the season, it's just going to be, it's just going to be some vintage things this year. Yeah. Vintage popples are the new thing this season. Yep. <laughs> so if you are not going full bore already, you got to start. Matt and I are already selling Christmas stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, now it's really not out of season, but still people are like, hey, it's September. I need my Christmas blanket. I need my Christmas mm -hmm. music. I'm getting ready because I know it's going to be in short supply come the actual holiday time. So we want everyone to be the best seller they can be on the most platforms. You, you, the, you don't have to aim for Jess's 23 platforms, but <laughs> but at least get on Macari if you haven't already. If you're on there and not robust yet, Matt, Aaron, <clears throat> kick it, it up. Let's get going. <laughs> and uh, well, I want all y'all to be the best sellers you can be, especially in Q4, because that's when we make all our money. All right. Sure. Stacy said, that's me as you. Yeah, I know, honey. I know it's me as you, because I'm not typing anything. <laughs> Or someone hacked me, one of the two. All right, uh, Jess, thank you very much. And uh, please let us know if you have any other uh, successful uh, local pickups. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, and, and, and anybody, if anyone's use, using local and, and you have one, pop into the 13 board. Let us know how it went and what your experience was and uh, how happy you are. Stace and I leave tomorrow, so we'll be gone for 10 days, so no shows. But two weeks from tomorrow, we'll be back with the Freeds to learn how to pay off your mortgage 11 years early. I can't wait. I'm going to do it. Oh, and as a bonus, the uh, new adventure I've been teasing for Stacey and I, I think I can announce it when we get back. I think. Ooh. So on that show, I think I can finally say what's happening to Stacey and I. So, uh, But uh, follow. I will have things in the thrifting board from the trip, any sourcing we do. And then also, if, you, if you're not my friend on Facebook, I'm happy to be your friend, or you can just follow me. I'll be posting uh, some non-thrifting things as we move our way through uh, the great north. It's exciting. It's so, fun. Jess, thank you. Matt, thank you, as always. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you all in the chat. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I love you all. And those who watch after the fact, yeah, leave us a little note. Are you selling a Macari? Yeah. We want to get everyone to be successful and I will hold your hand if need be. Oh, <laughs> and with that, I say adieu. All right.